life on Earth began evolving around four billion years ago. And we tend to assume that we humans are the pinnacle of that evolution, natural rulers of the planet. But what if we had been completely wiped out at the very start of our evolutionary journey? This may sound like science fiction, but scientists across the globe now think this nearly happened. Half a billion years ago, way before there were any humans, apes, or even dinosaurs, our earliest ancestors fought a battle for survival in an alien world. Only now can we see how close we came to losing that war. Defeat would have changed the course of evolution forever and filled the Earth with armies of creatures far beyond our worst nightmares. Half a billion years ago, on the edge of the Milky Way, stood a tiny planet of barren rock. Its surface scorched by the sun's radiation, scoured by 100 mile an hour winds. The land was lifeless. But there was more than just sand and rock on this planet. There were oceans, and in those oceans lay another hidden world. A world teeming with strange, alien-looking life. Aliens like these armor-plated megabugs swarmed in shoals of a thousand at a time, sifting the nutrient-rich water for food. They caught their prey with grasping limbs, grinding it up in machine-like pincer jaws. The warm waters were alive with clouds of scavengers. 150 feet down on the sea floor was where most creatures lived among forests of sponges. Scuttling bottom feeders went in search of a mating partner while trying to avoid becoming someone else's lunch. Everything here was wary of intruders and each had its own way of dealing with threats. Above cruised packs of opportunist hunters ready to use their whipped tentacles on the unwary. This pin cushion on legs used its spines to prevent attack from above but there were dangers in the strangest places and the weirdest forms. This five-eyed paddled steamer carried a vicious mouth at the end of an elephant-like trunk, a search and destroy feeder all in one. These freakish creatures may seem very alien, yet they are not sci-fi inventions, and this is not an alien planet. This is planet Earth, half a billion years ago. And this period of Earth's history, the Cambrian era, saw the evolution of the world's first complex animals. Amazingly, they appeared almost overnight in a sudden burst of evolution, what scientists have labeled the Cambrian explosion. Science has long tried to explain the reasons why this explosion happened. But Dr. Simon Brady from the University of Bristol now believes he may have the answer. For Simon, the Cambrian explosion is the single most important biological event in the history of planet Earth. He believes that whatever caused that explosion set life on Earth on an irreversible course. It is a course he intends to follow in order to help answer the ultimate question. How did we get here? I've just walked 350 meters down this beach and 
What that represents is literally walking through time. Every step I take is 10 million years of life on Earth. Now, way back there, 350 metres away, we have the earliest evidence of life on Earth. But for 85% of the time, it's basically been slime, simple bacteria. It's only about 50 metres back down my trail that we actually see the appearance of complex, multicellular animals. The turning point, this major transition in the complexity of life, is the Cambrian explosion. This line that I've just drawn in the sand represents the boundary between the pre-Cambrian world, where life was basically slime, and the Cambrian, and the development and rise of these complex animals. So what caused this sudden revolution? One of the most important driving features of the Cambrian explosion was that organisms were eating each other for the first time. It was predation, and that would change the course of evolution for the next 540 million years. This was the start of the world's first arms race, a race for domination of the Earth among its major groups of animals. The rules of kill or be killed forced everything to evolve the best body form it could for attack, defense, or escape. As in any arms race, certain groups would come to dominate. Ultimately, three would emerge from the pack as front runners. The dominant group today, which includes us, are the vertebrates, defined by an internal skeleton of bones and a spinal cord. Things we share with all other vertebrates like fish, reptiles, birds, and our fellow mammals. The other main competitors were these, the arthropods, all those creatures with a hard external skeleton and jointed limbs, like insects, spiders, as well as lobsters and crabs all the Earth's bugs. And finally, there are the mollusks, the snail family, which also includes squid and octopus, soft-bodied creatures with or without a shell. Standing here in the 21st century, the notion that these creatures ever competed with us for mastery of the Earth seems ludicrous. But new evidence reveals that we were almost wiped from the face of the Earth by a bunch of bugs and snails. The scientific quest to understand the battle for this primeval world is one of the greatest detective stories in evolutionary biology. Traveling back in time to the very first life on Earth has only been possible because of a remarkable discovery made in one of the most popular mountain ranges on Earth. To reach the site of that discovery means a tough, day-long hike to the heart of the Canadian Rockies. In the course of a half a billion years, the Cambrian seabed has become a mountaintop, and its inhabitants lie here, buried as a collection of fossils called the Burgess Shale. For Des Collins at the Royal Ontario Museum, these fossils 